the Lord has also instructed me to pray for Pastor Iyadeboyi that on three occasion next year they will be pursuing him with death. And I also saw it that's going to be death of um, ministers of God that have names. In the words of uh, Prophet Shegu, I see you in your own house. To this I say, Amen. That year is to come. There will be flowing of blood. Pray for Africa for seven days to avert much death. Pray also for Prof, uh, Pastor Adeboye. He would be pursued with death three occasions next year. Many ministers of God will die. From now to 2024, there will be no more Nigeria. There will be no more Nigeria. Some kings will die. Some politicians also will die. They will die by the hands of men. They themselves killed many also. God said he is the one passing judgment on them. Flood like never before. We befall Lagos. So pray so that many will not be homeless. There will be scarcity of food between 2023 and 2024. Those are the words of Prophet Shegu concerning 20, the year 2022 to 2024. We know very well that the Bible said in Amos chapter 3, from verse 7, precisely, verse 7, that the Almighty God will never do a thing without revealing it first to his servants, the prophets. If I'm to say, Prophet Segu is one of the beloved prophets of God, one of the unadulterated prophets of God, because many prophets have become adulterated. When they've not heard, they will say they hear. When they hear little, they add so much. Just for their own selfish interest. One thing about this prophet, as I keep saying it, since I started following him, is that he doesn't look at faces. He doesn't care what you are, who you are and what you are. He made bold to say that he is not rich, but that he's not hungry. I think you, you should understand that. I love that comment. He hears and he says it the way it is. When God speaks, it's for us to take correction. It's a warning. It's a warning. Children of God should rise up and pray. If they don't like what they heard from the prophet to come to pass, they should rise up and uh, pray against it, to avert it. If they like it, they rise up and pray and say, Father, let there be no delay. Let it happen. Prophet has spoken. So I will urge us to pray for Africa, as he said. Af Africa is our continent. May God help us so that there will be no much death. Nobody knows who will be involved. Mighty Father, help us. Help Pastor Adeboye also. Father, help him. Is a woman be whatever that has made uh, him weak or, or the hedge around him so porous? Father, please have mercy. Whatever it is, have mercy. Remember, they are the boy of old that we used to know. Father, remember. 
the days past. Remember. I wouldn't know why this prophecy should be coming, but Father, have mercy. This he was one of the renowned men of God. But whatever is happening there, only God knows. Whatever is happening in his life now, only God knows. My prayer is that God should show him mercy. About many ministers of God dying and politicians dying and kings dying. God said it's his own judgment. Who can question God? Nobody cannot. The Bible warned us that if you kill by knife, you go by knife. You kill by juju, you go by juju. You kill by gun, you go by gun. However you do it, uh, that's what you get. Well, our God is a merciful God. He said if you hear his voice today and harden not your heart, if they keep on keeping on, they will get the judgment of God. But if they change today and say, Father, please have mercy. I trust God now. He's a merciful God. He showed me mercy and he will show you mercy also if you change today. You, you so-called men of God, kings, and the politicians you can repent today to avert the judgment of god it's terrible though. it's terrible anyways um prophet shegu was talking about flood like never before in lagos please we need to pray we need to pray we have our friends our relatives there we need to pray so that so many will not become homeless we need to pray we need to pray. We need to pray. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the only thing that will help us out. May God help us to do our own path. Uh, path. Uh, Prophet Shegun has done his own bit. May God help us. Give us the strength to pray. Because that is all we can do. Thank you for listening. Have a beautiful day.